What's up everybody? It is Sunday, March 29th, and you ain't got nothing to do. You're on quarantine. You're gonna watch this video today. I'm just kidding. If you want, if you want to watch the video. I'm not gonna make you do anything, but if you wanna watch this video, it's gonna be good. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do today, but it's another day of quarantine. Hope everybody's staying safe. Let's get into it. Now, Trader Joe's, I love you, but your bread's a little bit too big for my, my poor, little, poor little toaster. All right, so I'm currently in my office and I had a kind of fun idea. I've tried this before and I'm gonna do it again because I do have some extra materials, but basically, um, as you guys saw yesterday, we got new couches and soon we're going to be getting a new rug and a coffee table and it's actually going to look like a home out in our living room and the dogs are not going to ruin it this time, I'm sure of it. So I thought it would be fun since we do have some downtime on this lovely Sunday to make some um, DIY photo coasters. So I will take you guys through the process of me choosing the four pictures that I want. Um, I'm currently using this website you can use any one i don't think it really matters but this one is on pop sugar and it's diy tile photo coasters like i just said and it has a lot of pictures and the list of materials and really clear instructions and this is what i have left over from last time so it's kind of perfect so my desk is kind of cramped right now but i have my printer so i can get the photos and I will show you guys exactly how I'm gonna be doing this. So these are the pictures that I used last time when I made them. Um, I guess I didn't save the other two, but they have to be four by four so that they fit on the tiles. It did kind of warp this one a little bit, but by the time it's glued on and the Mod Podge is on, you can't really tell a difference, and I'll show you guys the ones that I'm about to pick. All right, and these are the ones I decided on. So they're all in four by four now. This is one of my favorite pictures of me and Andre from the summer. The pups, one of Ellie, one of Fred. The only problem is Fred is awfully dark. So when I put glue on his picture last time, it kind of just smeared it all over and we're gonna see if I can clean it up a little bit nicer this time. Okay, so what I did this time that's a little bit different than what I did last time is in these instructions, it says to coat the tiles with the Mod Podge first and then wait 20 minutes and go back over it with the Mod Podge. I did not do that the first time and my pictures turned out really goopy because I put all the Mod Podge on top, um, but I think this is gonna keep them looking really nice. All right, so it has been 20 minutes since I did the layer of Mod Podge on the tile and then stuck the pictures on. Now the instructions are telling me to do another layer on top of the photo, let it sit for 20 minutes, do one more layer, and then I will catch you guys up after that. So the next step shows you cutting out little corners off of some felt to put on the back so that it doesn't scrape on the table, but I like the idea of just cutting out the entire square, and I'm just gonna hot glue these down directly onto the tile. Okay, so here they are so far. They have a couple coats of the Mod Podge on them. They're a little bit streaky. I think I just used cheap paper. I used cheap ink in my printer. Um, but so far they look so good. I need to do one final coat of, what did they call it here? I need to do one final coat of a clear spray sealant, which I do have in the garage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then these will sit for probably about 24 hours and then they are done, woohoo. What's up guys, um, it's been a pretty chill day, it's right in here. Sarah's taking a nap and uh, I just had to fix up my Schoology courses for tomorrow. We're officially going back to school tomorrow, even though it's virtually, um, we're still going back. So 
Uh, we're hopping into the knife unit now, so it's kind of interesting. I have a PowerPoint that I posted, some discussion boards, um, some links to some videos that I think are really interesting and, uh, you know, really give them a, a good in-depth look at the different types of knives that there are, chef's knives, what the different metals uh, do to the knives, what's the best type of knife to use for what situation, uh, things like that. So uh, I just re-upped the Schoology course and uh, yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how the how the kids are going to do tomorrow. Um, should be interesting and yeah, I'll take you guys along for the ride, but right now me and uh, Fred are just chilling. Uh, what you want to do, bub? <laughs> um, so, like I said, Sarah's taking a nap. I'll probably play some video games real quick. Uh, might go... I don't know, she was talking about going to get Fuzzies uh, for takeout, which is like one of our favorite restaurants in Tempe. So, I might go grab takeout food, but I don't know. It's gonna, uh, I don't know. We'll see what we get into. If not, and this is the end, well, I hope you guys have a wonderful night. But I don't think this will be the end, so hang on just a second. We'll, we'll see what we get into. <laughs> So we, we were gonna go to Fuzzy's, but we thought social distancing. I'm just gonna make enchiladas at home. Using what we have. Using what we have. So I'm gonna make enchiladas real quick and then I'll show you guys what they look like. Looks good. What's up guys? Just finished up dinner. Was dinner all right? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Now we are watching Burt Kreischer's new stand-up special on Netflix. I watched it the other day. It is hilarious, but I thought that Sarah should watch, so we're gonna be chilling out here on our new couches, and uh, just gonna finish off the night by watching some good old comedy and, and just hanging out. So, yeah, that's it for today. And if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate the love and the support. And until tomorrow, remember, keep on grinding, keep on living. And uh, yeah, stay inside, stay safe. Peace. It's the 30th. Um, hey babe, is it the 30th? Is it the 30th? 29th? Sheesh. Thank you.